New at 11, a change in policy to arm school security officers who work for Chesapeake Public Schools. Tonight, board members voted to allow SSOs to carry weapons if they meet a set of requirements. Angelique Arantak is live in the studio with us tonight after speaking with the superintendent about this move. Angelique? David Nicole, school division leaders stress the change won't be immediate, but they see this as an additional resource, excuse me, measure to improve safety. Before tonight, only school resource officers or SROs employed by the Chesapeake Police Department could carry weapons on property. School security officers or SSOs at Chesapeake Public Schools are hired by the board. Members on Monday voted to update policy, now allowing SSOs to carry firearms. They're not proposing that we arm the current employees we have in that position. It's looking at hiring additional employees who could potentially be armed mostly to serve our elementary schools. And of course, they would have to be highly trained and vetted to the Chesapeake Police Department. They would also have to be retired law enforcement within the last 10 years, among other things. So there would be a strenuous selection process that would be in place to make sure we have the right people serving in that capacity. Middle schooler Adara Mears says she'd be okay with seeing armed SSOs. It would be kind of a good thing because of all the crazy stuff that's been happening in the U.S. with all the guns, violence and stuff like that, especially in schools. Grandparent Don Greaves tells me she's against the board's latest move. Because I think just compounding the problem. I don't think we're um, getting to the root of the problem. I I'm not comfortable going in a place where people are armed. So can you imagine a child? Superintendent Dr. Jared Cotton says it all boils down to having more professionals on the ground. Serving our elementary schools in particular, and tonight was a critical step to moving in that direction. The division recently received funding for 25 additional school security officers. Dr. Cotton says those positions have been posted and they're working to fill them. Back to you. Angelique, thanks. The superintendent says they're also in the middle of a pilot program for metal detectors and weapons detection systems. Before making a possible investment, division-wide administrators are testing them out at an elementary, middle, and high school.